So I have an idea, an experiment if you will. How much money would I lose or gain if I opened up one Pokemon trading card game pack a day for a whole year? I've never really been into buying packs. I've always been the guy that would kind of just buy singles if I needed any specific cards. I tend to actually see packs as a huge waste of money. So a little experiment like this could actually show, is it worth it to actually buy packs or should you just buy singles if you're trying to make a profit? I'm going to be pricing each pack at about $4 a pack because some of the packs are a little bit older but not too old. And uh, depending on where you get your packs, I think $4 is a reasonable price. So this is the end of the first week. Every single day, I've been opening up one pack a day. I've been making a YouTube short of it. There's already seven up on the channel. So go watch those if you actually want to see me pulling these and my reactions to these. But what we're going to do today is we're going to be taking all of the money, money cards that we pulled and seeing how much they're actually worth on the calculator. We're doing this by taking a look at their prices on TCG Player. And so like I said, this is the results for the first week. We're gonna do the first week. Maybe we'll do this every single week and add to the total. We'll do it every month, every couple months, and hopefully by the end of the year, we'll see if you should actually spend your money on packs or if it would be just better to buy the specific cards you need. So we're gonna take a look at the very first card I pulled out of the very first pack in the very first short, and that's gonna be Diancy from Crown Zenith. It looked really cool. I was really surprised and again i haven't opened packs in like years so i would say this card looks like it could be cool maybe it's worth something and we're gonna be going by let's see diancy in pokemon cards we gotta find we're gonna go be going by the uh like regular price like right here right here crown zenith 95 cents wow Big spender, 95 cents, less than a dollar. So I spent, and there's one other like rare in the pack. Let's check it out. It's going to be Zeraora from Crown Zenith as well. So uh, Zero or I think Zeraora, even the VMAX from that set's probably not worth that much. Um, Zeraora, two cents, bro. Oh my gosh, yo. All right, plus 0 0.2. So not even 20, it's 0 0.02. All right, so yeah, it's a uh, zero. 0.95 plus 0 0.02. So for the first set, for the first pack of Crown Zenith, let's say it cost me four bucks. I technically, there were a bunch of other commons that are all varying worth like less than a penny. I got 97 cents per pack. That's less than a third of my money actually being worth something. So not off to a great start. Let's go into the second pack. The second pack, the foil that I pulled was um, Gym Trainer. <laughs> gym Trainer Foil. Let's see if this thing's worth anything. And if you guys like this series or you want to, you actually think this is interesting, let me know. And let me know if there's actually any ways you think I might be able to spice this up and make it even more interesting or speed it up. Because you probably don't want to see me like type every single thing in here like this. Maybe you do like seeing this stuff. Gym Trainer, one penny. One penny, not bad. The other hollow that I got was a Reuniclus here. It looks cool. Um, Reuniclus does look cool. One of my favorite Pokemon in VGC. Reu... How do I spell this thing? That's the hardest part. Reuniclus. Reuniclus. Here we go. Nine cents. So a whopping ten cents. A dime for that pack. Plus 0 0.10. Bringing our total to one dollar and seven cents for an eight dollar investment. Probably not the best so far. Let's go into the next pack. We're Using more ghost types, the card we got was a Cursilla here. Shiny little Cursilla card here. Cursilla might be something. This It has like a weird move on it that might actually make it play as like a rogue deck. All right, Cursilla. What do we got, Cursilla? Survey says it's hollow. So it's probably going to be about four cents. Let's, let's click it out. Let's go further in depth. Foil is 14 cents. All right, 14 cents for the foil. All right, I'll do it. I'll take my 14 cents all the way to the bank, plus 0 0.14. And the other psychic card, we got a, this is a Fusion Strike pack, we got Dragapult. So that's why I said like old packs, but not like super old. I think they're still standard legal. All right, and we got Fusion Strike Dragapult right there, six cents yeah plus 0 0.6 bring our grand total for a 12 dollar investment actually sticking with what was the same total from the first one 
$1.81. So not as effective as you might think. It's just showing that like packs, they're, they're fun to open, right? It's fun to think that you could get something, but it's looking like maybe not worth that much of anything. Let's go into the next set, uh, the next pack. We have a Torterra, just a hollow little Torterra right there. And uh, here we go. Torterra. TCG player saved me on this one. Um, it is seven cents. I have this Torterra actually. So there's some good Torterras. I have this Torterra too. I, I, I love Torterra level X and I love this one too. That's another good one. Anyways, uh, seven cents on the Torterra. And the other card from that pack is going to be a shiny foil Bebarrel. Would have just rather had the Bidoof. All right, Bebarrel. Hardest part's gonna be spelling this thing if we can uh, get up there. Bib. Bebarrel. All right, be more than two cents. Come on, come on. It says nine. Let's see the hollow. Let's see the hollow foil. 47 cents market price. Wow. Near mint hollow foil, 49 cents. It's where my face is, but you can see it right down. Uh, 47, liquid 47. So 47 cents plus, what was it for the um, Torterra? Seven. Seven. So 47 plus seven. Uh, it's going to be 53. 53? That's a good pack. The Barrel is the best card so far. Plus zero, or plus uh, 0, 0.53. $2.34. Not bad or good. It's actually really not good. Time for the worst pack, I think. <laughs> it's Wish Cash time. It's Wish Cash time. Let's see if Wish Cash is worth literally anything. Wish cash. I can type. It's not even how you type that thing. Wish cash is cool. Wallace is my favorite. Or right, wish cash. It's wish cash. There we go. Wallace is my favorite trainer of all time. So we got, we got a penny. What's the what's the foil? foil? Near mint for a penny. Fourteen cent foil. Okay, I'll have my 14 cents. But uh, Wallace is my favorite, but I still wish cast sucks. And the other, the rare was a Thievel. Has an ability. Hopefully it's a good one. I've never seen Thievel get play. If I can spell it, I think it's T-H-I. Yeah, E-E-U-L. Look at me. And the whole point of like this exercise, I'm also like learning the prices. Looks like it's a hot penny. One penny. Oh man, plus 0 0.1. So freeze our grand total after one, two, three, four, five packs. Five times four is $20. Spent $20 on packs right here. And potentially if I were to sell these for their market value back to someone, they would actually spend this money on them for a grand total of $2.58. Is that worth it? We'll see what we get out of the last couple packs. Next pack uh, is going to be giving us this Toxel, shiny, shiny little Toxel right here. Toxel. Is it Tox L? Tox L. The Tox. All right, so we see it's right here. One penny normally. The shiny variant is 10 cents. You know what? That's money. That's money in the bank. That's a dime. And the other card. We actually got a card that is not just a random card. We got a Pikachu V. So I don't think Pikachu V is good. I don't think it is, but this is the first card that's like an actual V. So it's the first card that's actually something. Maybe it'll be worth more than a dollar. Do you think it might be? I'm gonna find out. Oh, dude, sads. Let's see. 47 cents, bro. The barrel was worth the same amount. All right. Plus 0 0.47. So if this isn't an indicator that you should just probably buy singles, maybe you think about buying singles. Maybe you think about letting me know in the comments. Do you like singles or packs? I feel with the 24 we've invested here, the fun part is opening the packs, seeing all of the cards and seeing all the cool stuff you can get. We have one more pack for day six. Sorry, day seven. Day seven, right? Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that was day six. This is day seven. And all the um, 
shorts of me pulling on these cards are up on YouTube right now. So if you want to go back and watch my actual reaction to pulling all these cards and be like, whoa, I don't know who that was, or I hope this is worth something and making me think I actually might have earned something on some of these, go take a look at those. So Ariados right here. We got an Ariados right here. Ariados is such an underrated Pokemon. Every format this is legal in VGC, I love it. It gets some really cool stuff. So, uh, oh, I spelled it wrong. Yeah, it's so good. I spelled the name wrong. All right, Ariados. Survey says, oh, it's thinking. Oh, it's big thinking. Nothing was fan because I spelled it wrong again. Ariados. Here we go. Seven. That's not bad. I'll take, I'll take my seven cents for an Ariados. 0 0.07, that is. Last card was probably the coolest card we pulled in the first week, and that is this Jinx. This Jinx looks so freaking cool. And I don't think it's worth anything, right? But this has to be one of the coolest arts I've ever pulled on a card. And so hopefully Jinx gets us out of the, the sticks here. 49 cents. Yo, you're killing it, Jinx. That's literally like a third of our whole value right here. Plus 0 0.49. And I will say that... That brings our brand total to $3.71 for week one. $24. There are a bunch of other like commons and trainers and stuff like that that might be worth like one or two cents. But for the most part, these are the cards that will be worth anything. So we have $3.71 for a $24 investment. So starting the first week off, not too hot. But you know, there's so many really, really expensive Pokemon cards. Like realistically, we could... um. We could pull, let's not do it sort of by Jinx, right? Let's just sort uh, market value for like high. Oh, we're still on Jinx. Let's sort it by, what's like the newest set? Crown Zenith, right? There's so many good cards in these sets that if we sorted it, like if we pulled the Altar Mewtwo thing, that's 80 bucks right there. Same thing for the Arceus, $84. That paid for like two or three... Well, that pay, that pay for like two or three weeks worth of packs just pulling something like that. Same thing for the Giratina, $133. There's so many expensive Pokemon cards that the the potential to hit big is there. And I think that's one of the reasons why packs are so fun to actually crack and, you know, have as much fun with as possible. But let me know. Do you guys like packs? Do you not like packs? Do you want to see this? Let me know in the comments. Hopefully you like this content. And uh, I'll be uploading my daily shorts on the progress. And I will be making a video every week or two. Just kind of counting up what we're uh, pulling so far. So if you guys like this, let me know. And uh, thank you everyone for watching. Peace out. I'll see you guys next time.